having kids before they got married, and they decided they would try for 12 kids. <laughs> he was from a family with nine children. She had no clue what she was agreeing <laughs> to. That's right. Hey, guys, it's time for lunch. A day in the life of the Willis clan is managed chaos. It's the normal things, just maybe five times as big. Everybody helps, the big kids all the way down through the little kids. You want to play the sock game? See how many matches you can find in that basket. And we make it work. Sometimes I don't know how we do it, but we make it work. Look, this is blue and this is black. It's fine. <laughs> this competition is so important. This is the biggest opportunity the Willis clan has ever had. We've been practicing like crazy for this performance at Radio City Music Hall. The live shows take this competition to a whole new level. You never know. You can practice and you can practice and you can practice. When you get out there and you're looking at your audience, you're looking at the judges and you have to bring it right then. Stern. Yeah, you know, Willis Clan, you know I'm big fans. I, uh, I like what you do because there's so few people doing this kind of thing. There's no family that's prominent in America right now that does this kind of stuff. And, you know, if I was at a Willis Clan concert, I've seen so many of your performances that, like, for this performance, I'd say this is the performance where everyone would get up and maybe use the bathroom or buy a soft drink uh -huh. or something. No, hold it. Because this wasn't your strongest performance. And I really am rooting for you guys because I like you and I like your story. But tonight's performance fell flat for me, honestly. I didn't feel the same emotion behind this performance. Howie. Okay, well, here's how I felt. I felt like I like this song choice. I actually like this song better than the last song you sang. So I thought it was good to mix, you know, kind of pop music with, you know, what you do. I said to a singer earlier in the evening that they were in the right city in the wrong building. I actually think, and, and don't take this negatively, but I think you're in the wrong city. I think Branson, you would make a fortune if you had your own theater and we went and saw the Willis clan. I think it's real Americana. I don't know that it's the big national stage that this show is. But I, I love your song choice. I love you and you two dancers when you came out. Yeah. You need coffee. <laughs> yeah. Heidi. Well, I think it can go straight from here to the Grand Ole Opry, I think. You know, I think that country fans love you, and I think that the rest of America will love you. I think it's amazing that you all are related, you're a big family, and I like that. I think you did a great job. Melby, was, was Howie fun. explaining what the Grand Old Opry was to you? Yeah. 
<laughs> Don't call me out, It's Nick. an American thing. I knew what it was, all right? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. How'd they do? It is country Well, listen, thing. I love you guys, and I do love what you stand for. You're a family. You, you're united. You're all together. But I have to say, I think Radio City Music Hall swallowed you up tonight. To say there's 11, 12, 13 of you on stage, it didn't sound like there was that many people on stage, to be honest. And there's a lot of you all playing instruments and harmonizing. It wasn't big enough. Maybe they you have to, to bring turn the volume up a little no, bit. It was, Maybe it, the volume was no, down. No, it, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, Willis Glenn, the judges said they wanted to see something bigger. Obviously, you guys are one big family. How do you feel you did? We did really well, and we're looking forward to, if we get to come back, show you guys even more. There it is. Great attitude, and good luck tonight. You know the deal. You can vote online or by phone, but however you do it, you got to vote. <laughs>